Hello, and thanks for watching this Monday update. It's hard to believe that we are now starting a new month, the month of May. It seems like we were just celebrating Advent. We were just looking forward to Christmas. And then here we are in the Easter season, looking ahead to Ascension Day, looking ahead to Pentecost. Time flies, right? Well, and because time flies, because time moves so quickly, we should be diligent, a diligent in making the best use of God's gift of life and of time. Uh, in Ephesians chapter 5, God's word tells us this, Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. In other words, we should be careful. We should be deliberate with how we use our time, not squandering it, not wasting it, not being uh, moved about by the ways of this world, but making the best use of it, using our days, using the breath in our lungs to the glory of God. Uh, in my daily Bible reading, I just recently concluded the book of Esther. Uh, you're probably familiar with the book of Esther. There's a, an often quoted line where Mordecai says to Queen Esther, he says, And who knows whether you've not come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Now, these are powerful words because they remind us that God puts us right where we need to be, at the right time, at the right place to do his work. And so during this post-Easter season, uh, we've been thinking about how we are witnesses a witnesses before a watching world what we say what we do our words and our deeds they bear witness to jesus and his cross and his empty tomb his way of being in this world so as we begin this new week as we begin this new month let me invite you to ask a challenging question ask yourself how can I best use God's gift of life and time this week? Pray. Pray that God would guide you in being a good steward of your time, a good steward of your interactions. Pray that God would let you be a good steward of the gifts he's given to you, the opportunities that you will encounter this week, making the best use of every second, the best use of every uh, beat in your heart and breath in your lungs. Well, I want to remind you that this Thursday we have our day of prayer at both campuses. Uh, you're invited to come to either one of our campuses, uh, Christ Campus from 9 to 5 p.m. Uh, or the Meridian Campus from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And you can spend time in prayer uh, as long as you'd like. As the people of Jesus, we are people of prayer. Uh, we take God up on his invitation to come before him in prayer, to spend time in his presence, to bring our prayers of thanksgiving, our prayers of praise, our requests, our concerns, everything to him in prayer. Well, God's blessings to you on your week as we live as the people of Jesus, knowing the peace and the power of the cross.